Good morning from Makati. Back in Makati, you can see not too many people around today. It's like 37 degrees, still recovering, and we have to go and look for breakfast and coffee as usual. Yeah, we have to turn left, it's talking to me. I've got Google Maps talking to me from my pocket. We're looking for a good breakfast place around. Oh, it's a bit windy. We got a bit of breeze. I think we have to go left. Left here, yeah. Many of you will know this area, P. Burgos Street. I find Makati in the daytime to be a little bit quiet. Um, before I first come to Manila, everyone was saying to me, go to this area. This is like where I stayed in Bangkok. What? I would say it's a lot more quiet, to be honest. In the day, I think it's pretty relaxed here, right? Like, yeah, because it's really hot during the day, so... <laughs> Maybe that's the reason. <laughs> yeah. But it's it's mainly a place uh, people come at night time, loads of like restaurants and bars, but I think I found a secret coffee shop here. I think we've arrived. In Google Maps, it's called Annex House. It can be found, it's like this. Look at it, it's got like two horns. Ring the bell and speak. Go in, lie. I don't wanna be breaking and entering in Philippines. I'll let you do it. It's locked. Hey. <laughs> Hello. 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 <laughs> I was just, I was just scaring the lie, saying don't break and enter, and then she opened the door on her. Oh, this is Very nice, nice yeah. isn't it? What do you think of this place? Yeah, it's really a secret. Huh? It's, <laughs> it's really, really a secret. A secret place. Well, not such a secret because it's on a uh, Google Maps. But I'm going to give you a quick tour of this coffee shop called Annex House. Look at it. It's like a big house in the middle of Makati. We got the roof over. Loads of nice little tables and chairs. Some plants and flowers around the tree over there. That's it, Annex House. Bar and family room. Seems like they've cocktails. It should be pretty cool here in the night time, right? To chill here in the night time. Kind of cool in this coffee shop. We've got like a little thrift shop. What are you trying to say? This for me. This one suits you. No way. This style does <laughs> this style does suit me, but I'm not sure about this one. 2,200 pesos. This one looks good. I'm not sure. I'm more into this. This material. Really? Yeah, it's cooler. That's kind of nice. There's loads of cool like thrift store stuff. Like they've made this from God knows what. They've got all these like biker kind of jackets. This is like a proper thrift store like. Oh, that's your style, babe. No, it's not. It is, look. That looks cool with what you're wearing. What do you think, guys? I should buy that. I think that looks pretty cool for you. Island, when you go to Ireland. Wow. Is it? Is it? Wow. Beach bag. This is kind of nice beach bag. Oh, I need one of these too. Man bag. The man bags are kind of nice. Pink gorilla. Is this your style? Is it? <laughs> Go on, give me a spin. Show the bag. Look at that. It's kind of cool. All you need is a Harley Davidson there. As you can see when we come in, it's just a massive like metal gate yeah. and you have to ring the doorbell. It's really hidden. And then Lai was like, it's locked and she opened the door at the same time. But it's like known as a hidden cafe, but for me it's weird why they don't actually have signs outside. Mm. It's hidden and they have a bar which open at 6pm as well. So. There you go, they have a bar upstairs that opens at 6 and you can see around the barbecue area and I guess this is like the courtyard area where you can sit and drink too 
But um, it's really nice here, actually, yeah, isn't it? Nice. In the middle of Makati, hidden away, nice quiet space. Peaceful, very naturey vibe. Yours looks nice. Oh, <laughs> here we go. <laughs> oh here my here god. Nice. Lai is always at this. <laughs> she always ends up taking my menu, be it food or coffee. Explain Are the you, coffees then. Um, this one is like the Bico Latte. So Bico. Bico. Filipino is familiar with Bico, you know, the um, glutinous thick rice. Is it? Mm. Ah, but this has got coconut in this coffee. Yeah. Bico Latte. And I got the Leche Flan Latte. You know, the Leche Flan dessert. dessert. Yeah. Let me try yours first. Okay. Go on. It tastes nice. It's a bit sweet. You don't need to add sugar for sure. I wonder how they get the leche flan taste. Um, the girl told me it's similar to Spanish latte. Uh, yeah, and this one is similar to latte. <laughs> <laughs> just, I've just got a straight latte. Coconut latte. Yeah. Can I try yours? Not too coconutty. Slight coconut for me. That's perfect. So how much was the total? We got a cinnamon bun too, which yeah. we're gonna have to try. The cinnamon roll is one twenty, and this one costs two hundred. For the for their signatures coffee, it costs two hundred. Oh, does it? Yeah. So uh, for the total of, do you want first bite? Mm. I like cinnamon buns. That atmosphere is what makes it, I would say. I could imagine it's a cool place to come at night. For mojitos. Sure. Yeah, it's pretty chill here. Mm. If you want to work, you want to have a peaceful work environment, you can bring your laptop mm. and just work. Okay. You still remember the... I still remember. And that is it. That's Annex Coffee Shop. We finished coffee. Now we have to walk. I'm going to take life for the best food that I have found in Makati yet. And you guys definitely have to try this if you can't. Especially if you like um, Mexican food. I like Mexican food. You're in for a nice treat now. I have no idea what this street is called. Do you lie? Not? This, wow, <laughs> this is a Japanese kind of style restaurant. Down here is where they've got all the restaurants, but I found a really good taco joint called Only Pans. Look at it, this is it. Only Pans. So, where are we going to sit? You want to sit inside or outside? They have this. Cool. They have this like little seating area outside. I think we have to go outside because of the music. Welcome to OnlyFans. We just signed up for tacos. Wow. <laughs> We've signed up for tacos. We just signed up for tacos. Was this, when I took you here the first time, was this the first time you really had proper tacos? Mm. I mean, you tried them before, but not like legit ones like this. Yeah. yeah. This one is nice. I mean, I tried some other tacos around, but this one is nice. Cannot forget about it. I think I found my true love. Wow, <laughs> goodbye. Get out of here. True love tacos. Wow, this guy inside, he's got some uh, tacos on the grill and a burrito. Look at that. <laughs> I'm bullying you, lies like staring through the windows at a taco. She's like dribbling. He's finally putting it on the plate. <laughs> He's finally putting it on the plate. Uh, oh so funny lie. Remember, I'm making a video. Don't just head dive the tacos. Oh, yeah. Last time we was here, I told Lai I wanted to take a picture of the tacos. I'll come back 
and the tacos had already gone. I'm so sorry, I can't help it. It's <laughs> kind of hard to resist. The anticipation of the tacos is crazy, it's but here. it's coming. It's here. It's here. It's here. But we're not excited. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Perfect. Thank you, my friend. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. I think it's okay, Lai. Relax. She thinks I'm gonna rob a chicken already. This is where you have to bring your chick on a date, guys. Take note. Do you want to try the pork pork one, Lai? You've never tried this. This we did not get this one last time. Have a munch on that. This is great, guys. Mm. Good? Good. But I wouldn't trade this one. Mm. Oh, yeah. They really don't skim with the pulled pork as well. There's a lot on there. Only pans. You make it look so delicious. The taco, the cheese, the chicken, it's just so perfectly blended, so perfectly cooked. Just, I'm so speechless, guys. I cannot even explain. You have to come here and try it yourself. Hey, we're not getting paid by this place to promo <laughs> it that hard, like, kill. <laughs> you can invite us, of course. We can all try this one. <laughs> After that epic food review, we deserve free tacos for the rest of our life. Exactly. But honestly, guys, I do love tacos and I would recommend coming here. It's on the more pricey side for tacos if you compare with like Mexico or somewhere, but it's, it is great. Look, it's just oily, cheesy, chickeny. I'm so good at explaining the food, aren't I? The chicken one's the best. This is unforgettable. Lai actually pesters me to come here every day. <laughs> she's one in, she's always like, mm, I miss those tacos. I can eat this every day. Okay, let's move to Mexico. <laughs> actually, I would not mind to go and live in Mexico and learn to speak Spanish. You know? Yeah. Down to learn Spanish as well. Now that would be a nice series. Who would like to see Tom and Lai in Mexico? Te quiero, amor mío. <laughs> Te quiero. Your language is so similar. Yeah. You would learn it quickly. I've spent time in Spain before, so I'm not the worst. I could learn it pretty quickly too. Actually, Lai. I would go and live in Mexico for six months. I'm not even joking, Mexico or Colombia. Mexico? Yeah. We'll flip a coin, Mexico or Colombia. You guys comment which one's better. Never been in South America. I would love to go there to learn Spanish. Lie is down to go as well. So if we went to South America to live for six months and try and learn the language, where would be the best country to go? And that's only pans, guys. Definitely worth checking out in Makati. Mm. I'm so speechless. Mm. Can't even talk. Now. Just want to focus on you and this doctor. We've had warnings in the Philippines to stay indoors during like midday because it's too hot. They've suspended like classes and everything, right? Yeah. So it's really hot. And yet here we are. <laughs> here we are walking for tacos. Here we are walking around. But I always buy this Japanese style drink, Pakari Sweat. Those who know, know. Really good to stay hydrated, love this stuff. I drink it every day. And Lai got? Smart C. Smart C. We just picked it up from 7-Eleven. And now, time to walk in this heat. The evening, we're walking around. Got the cocks in the road. And we've decided today to walk to, I think it's the river. We're walking towards the river, but it seems like there's a wall, like, dead end. Oh, it's like a sidewalk. As I'm still recovering, we wanted to take a bit of a stroll by the river. Let's check it out, what the river's like. 
I was thinking we could walk along it. What river is this called then, Makati girl? Pasig River. Pasig River. <laughs> now it smells of it. No. I won't be eating my dinner by the river, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> I've never walked on this area. Yeah. See, when you're with me, like you just get to roam in places you would never normally go. Yeah. But it's nice, it's kind of like chill, isn't it? Nice little local communities in Makati, away from the condo buildings. This is new for me. This is the bridge. There's cars going now over this, and we've got a church under the bridge, right? And all the, look at that. Look at all the artwork. Did you know there was a church under the bridge? This is a cool little neighborhood. You've got like all the traditional style houses there. Up there you can see the nice condos. You've got the bridge, the church under the bridge. Ah, we just find something to eat around here? Or where are we going to? Uh, we're just gonna roam around first. Okay. It's still early for dinner anyway. Too early for dinner. Oh, getting a bit of wind. birds pigeons this is what they have in the chinese restaurant <laughs> yeah and they eat it. pigeon soup yeah yeah this is a pigeon oh God. I cannot. I cannot <laughs> eat this. i'm showing lie what's on the menu at the chinese restaurant <laughs> pigeon soup i'm sorry guys for eating you <laughs> <laughs> wow so what's this called lie or you don't know this park it's a park it's actually my first time to walk around here Oh wow. To be honest. Nice. So I've never walked around here. But um it's still part of Poblachon. Oh it's part of Poblachon. Yeah, uh, yeah, still Makati and then the other part is Mandaluyong. Oh so we're in Makati, Mandaluyong's over there. If you go across over there, it's Mandaluyong already. Ah, I see. It's kinda cool, you can just walk along the river, but the river smells like shit. All the big buildings of Makati and some church over there. You know what that church is called? I failed as a tour guide today because I don't really know this area. <laughs> she failed. I don't really know this area that much. Yeah, Lai actually, guys, although she lived in Manila, she's never really around Makati, right? Yeah, I don't really walk around in this kind of area because alone. Yeah. Because, you know, we'll never know some places around. But nice church, Barangay Hulo. You've got Hulo River Ferry Station. So, you can take boats along the river. So we can take this boat going to Benondo. See? That's good. Right? Yeah. Have you ever done it? No. <laughs> there we go. She hasn't even done it and she's from Manila. So that's our <laughs> next mission. River ferry to Benondo. Look. I suppose, which way is Benondo? That way? This way. This way? How much do you think? For sure it's like um, 20 pesos or 20 pesos. 20 pesos across the river by boat instead of walking all the way around. But as you can see it's getting dark and we have to find a food spot for dinner. So we'll have to look around to try and find some food. The mission to get food continues. One of the hardest things I'm finding here in Manila is where to get good food. Most of the time I'm like eating in like a Chinese place. I found like a Chinese place that cooks like pretty good food. But like there's not much variety. Everywhere kind of sells the same stuff. And we just want some like good local food. Even for you babe, you find it hard right to decide what to eat. Unless you're at home. When we're at home it's easy. Like you can cook like my favorite Filipino dishes. walking along the road where I was having a bit of a rant about the food and here I saw a big glowing yellow building that caught my attention and I saw like it said Hanoi Pho which is like Vietnamese Hanoi I've been there before so I said to Lai hmm, I wouldn't mind a bit of Vietnamese food tonight so here we are Xin chào. Oh I'm impressed 
Sintel. So Sintel Hotel. It's been one of your places you wanted to visit, right? Mm -hmm. It's on my bucket list. I think we can tick that off in the next couple of months. Vietnam. We're going around the world a bit today in the Philippines. Yeah. We had Mexican lunch, <laughs> Vietnamese dinner. What next? What's next? It's kind of cool, huh? Yeah, these are like the proper chopsticks that are like wooden chopsticks because you can grip the noodles better. The plastic ones, they just slide off. It's not gonna slide, yeah? Yeah. But you can use chopsticks anyway. For the rice? I'm surprised you can. Because Filipinos don't really use chopsticks. Oh uh, no, I'm not really good. I'm just trying, practicing, okay. just in case we go to South Korea. <laughs> pick up, pick up, um. pick up. Oh, that's kind of easy. I need a peanut. Oh, you no. have to practice with like peanuts, right? Because mm, it's, it's kind of hard. hard. Practice just in case we go to Japan, South Korea. So, and Pretty much every Asian country, just not here. If you think about it, right? Every Asian country apart from Philippines pretty much uses uh, chopsticks. Food has come. Lai went for the chicken rice and it comes with some egg and some sauce there. Some cucumber. I went for the beef stew. It comes with rice and egg and of course I had to get this banh mi bread on the side. That's how banh mi bread feels, baby. Didn't that feel it? It's so big, isn't it? Oh, yeah. It's got no weight. It's like airy, right? Yeah, but it's so big. Beef stew with rice. Mm. What's this one? Is it nice? Yeah. That so. looks so nice. You always get the best yeah. Okay, like, I will know. share with you, darling. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Mm, that looks so nice. Right? It tastes so nice. Okay. Look, the crunchiness of the bread too. I always trust your choice. Mm. Nice. Yeah. Nice chunks of beef. Mm. They go heavy with the beef. Good. Mm. I want a bit of this. You tried the sauce? Not yet. Mm. Nice. Perfect. This one is so nice. Is mm. it vinegar? Oh. Something. It tastes really good though, with the chicken and rice. Yeah, it has the. I think it's um. Carrots. It's um. What do you call this one? I don't know. But it has the spicy. Like and explain the food as good as me. <laughs> what a food partner. We cannot explain, but we can eat everything. <laughs> But it's nice. It's sweet and sour, right? It's sweet and sour chicken. With vinegar, spicy vinegar. I'm wanting you to dip the bread in that. Eat the airy bread. One thing. Vietnam does the best bread in Asia, for sure. And us Europeans, we know about bread. Mm. Super light, huh? Yeah. Mm. I'll put the total cost of all this food up on the screen. The beef is great. Okay. You cannot explain the taste of it, but it's nice. Mm -hmm. And if you notice, Lai spent more time in my bowl than her bowl. So, maybe who's the best at choosing food? Mm. No, but the chicken's nice too. I'm only joking. That chicken's really nice, this sauce with the chili, yeah? We should change I mean, in China. The hungry travelers. <laughs> Good one. <laughs> so, we had a nice Vietnamese dinner. Yeah. It's very loud here in Makati, as you can see, everyone's probably going home from work and all that. So, we're gonna finish the video here because it's dark, noisy.
typical Manila. The real Manila. The real Manila. Chaos. So see you on the next video. Ciao. Ciao.